guys, it's uh, Matthew again from Jones from Forever. Um, I just want to do a quick video because um, I think this is quite an important subject to talk about um, in terms of when you're losing weight um, and obviously uh, measuring it accurately um, in terms of different weight and obviously muscle mass and fat loss. Um, so basically um, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, obviously uh, difference between obviously normal scales and obviously measuring fat loss um, compared to just using the scales you, you, um, you know, measuring stones and stuff. So basically when when you weigh yourself usually um, you tend to um, basically just weigh yourself in stones and you don't really um, you know you don't really know what how much fat you've lost or how much muscle mass you've gained or whatever because there's no accurate scale of or of that. So um, usually um, like if you've been exercising for, for a week um, and obviously you, you, know, you may not have lost, so say for example you're say, I don't know, 11 stone 5 and then you exercise 3 or 4 times in that week, you eat as healthy as, as, you, know, as, healthy as you have been um, and then obviously um, you look at the scales again and obviously it says 11 stone 5. Now the thing is, you know, don't go by just that scale, just um, what you need to do is you need to measure certain parts of your body or you need to get specialist scales that measure fat loss and muscle mass. So personally I've got some scales called Tanita scales that you can get off Amazon and basically um, they measure fat loss, muscle mass, hydration levels, um, so how hydrated you are, and visceral fat being internal fat in your organs um, and bone mass which is basically the density or the fitness of your bones is quite important. Um, or you can just measure um, four different areas around your body, okay? So obviously your chest, your waist, your thighs, and your hips, okay? So what I'd recommend you do is that every Monday for two months, and write down the measurements for each week that you've done that, because that's really going to help you in in you know knowing how much weight that you've lost, and it's going to keep it's going to help you keep track of it as well. Because what most people don't do is they keep don't keep um, track of it properly so therefore they get disheartened and they don't bother doing it anymore this is why I'm saying you need to <coughs> make sure you've got an accurate reading because then you can see that you may have lost two inches in a week rather than saying more than referring back to a scale which to be honest is probably inaccurate anyway and you're going by that so see so yeah, I just thought I'd do this little video because I I think it's important to stress this point because I think people do get disheartened and I can perfectly understand why they do because obviously you look at the scale and you think, you know, why haven't I lost any weight? But that, you know, that's probably the reason why because you haven't been measuring yourself properly to a standard where you need to, obviously, like I said, you need to get the um, Tanita scales from Amazon. They're only, I think they're only about £50 now, which I know sounds a little bit, you know, expensive for scales, but trust me, they're worth the money. So, you know, obviously pay for them. Um, or just get a tape measure and measure yourself that way. As I said, measure your chest, measure your waist, measure your hips, and measure your thighs. Okay, they're the four most important areas that you need to measure, all right? Uh, it's been Matthew Transom Forever. Um, I'm going to be doing another video um, about different um, kind of weight loss subjects and things like that. All right, so I'll speak to you guys soon.